once you have downloaded source tools, you extract the content into any directory of your choosing, and then you should have these files in that folder. Um, the connection manager should already be installed in the add-on folder. Uh, some versions come already packaged with it. If it's not, then you need to download it from the SourceForge page. Um, so to configure your connection manager, you first launch extra batch file here. So um, you select option number four, enable, disable, dual mode setting, uh, which will create two different configuration modes for Team Fortress 2. Uh, the first one will be for your normal configuration for when you want to play, and the second one will be for Team Fortress 2 in very low resolution, window mode, DirectX 8, uh, and so on, for when you want to idle with Team Fortress. So you type 4, enter, you select Team Fortress 2, enter, uh, then you click, you type, uh, you press enter again, there your files have been created for both mode 1 and 2. Uh, if you want to find those files, you have also backups. They should be in your Team Fortress 2 TF CFG SRCT mode folder. Um, and you're going to have also an extra backup in the Team Fortress 2 uh, backslash TF backslash uh, SRCT backslash reserve folder. So you have two sets of uh, backups in, ca in case something goes wrong. So you just press enter to continue and then you can just exit uh, this tool here. Once this is uh, set up, you can add some servers uh, that you wish to idle onto. Uh, so that would be in user files, server list. Uh, so you have 2 servers.txt, that's a text file. Uh, if the folder or text file do not exist, you need to create it yourself. Uh, you can open it with Notepad and then you can add some servers into it as many as you want. It doesn't matter if you only have two, one, doesn't matter because source tools will always, once it reaches the bottom, it will restart going to the top. So it's not like if it reaches the end, it's over. Um, so you can have a, it's better, source tools will create maybe two servers on your list, but it's not suggested to keep those two. You should add some servers you trust, or at least that you can count on. Um, oh, and also you should never choose a server that disables the wait command because source tools will simply crash right away. Uh, okay, now to launch Team Fortress 2, you select source tools dot bat. So then you select Team Fortress 2, option 1. Select mode 2 for idling. And then it should start launching Team Fortress 2. Uh, while it's launching, I have to say, you should always use source tools to launch Team Fortress, whether you want to play or idle. Um, s because the configuration files are moved uh, only after you close Team Fortress 2. Um, so if you don't close correctly source tools, um, your mode files will be badly placed, and then you can start having problems, like you can launch Team Fortress 2 from Steam, and then you're going to have the wrong configuration files installed. Um, so you can still launch Team Fortress 2 in mode 2 and then close it correctly and then if you want to play you can launch it directly from Steam. Now you, we're not very lucky because the server, the first one is okay, didn't say the server is full. So it does not demonstrate that source tools will reconnect you. So I'm just going to find a server that's already full. Uh, here, this one, 32 on 32, so it's full. Let's see what happens when you connect to a full server. Server is full. I'm not touching anything. Oh, it's connecting to the next one, full. The third one, full. So you can see here, it's saying full, full, full. And it found a server that's working. Though you might still get kicked afterwards. Some servers have reserved slots and they kick you right after you connect. In this case, it's, it didn't happen. But whatever happens, for whatever reason you get disconnected, source tools will reconnect you. Let's say Team Fortress 2 crashes for whatever reason, so I'm just going to simulate crashing Team Fortress 2 here by killing the process. So you see it closed. And then here it's, oops, here source tool says um, that it's relaunching Team Fortress 2. and then it will retry to connect to the first server and if the first server fails it will simply move on to the one next in the list so in this case it would be the fifth server 
whenever you relaunch Team Fortress 2 after a crash, it's always the first server that's being connected to. And then if you want to exit uh, Team Fortress 2, you simply have to press quit or type exit here. And source tools will know that you closed Team Fortress 2 uh, manually, that you close it from in-game, which means that it should not restart it. And source tools should shut down. There you go, it's closed. And uh, if you want to launch to play normally, you simply have to select Team Fortress 2, mode 1, and then it should be normal game. I'm just going to close it because it's going to be full screen. Um, so whenever source, tool, source Tools closes itself normally, then you can always launch Team Fortress 2 from Steam and it will be your normal configuration. But if you want to idle, you need to use Source Tools. Um, if you want to create shortcuts for uh, launching Team Fortress 2 in either Mode 1 or Mode 2 right away, uh, you can see on the wiki page um, how to do that. Uh, and you have uh, extra options in configure here. You can select configure game Team Fortress 2 mode 2 and then you select add-on manager option 5 and then you select connection manager because there could be more than one add-on installed and then you have several options. Uh, the description for each option is also on the wiki page so that's about it. As you can see it's very quick to set up source tools and it takes no time to launch it to play uh, to idle actually. Thank you.